YouTube, what's up? It's Fizzy Wizard here. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the PSP internet browser system for those little newbies who don't know how to do it. Okay, first I'll just show you the buttons. Um, when I refer to the D-pad I mean this. Analog stick is this. Start button is here. Triangle button here. Square button. O button. X button. R button. L button. Okay? Okay. First off, you need to navigate with the D-pad. Or, yeah, yeah, just the D-pad. You need to navigate with the D-pad across these buttons at the top here until you reach a button that says Networks. Okay? Then you need to navigate up and down also with the D-pad until you reach the Internet Browser button. Then click the X button. Okay, if you want to use a search, navigate along these little buttons with the D-pad until you get to the little magnifying glass icon, okay? Then you need to press the X button. You will come up with this screen, okay? Now what you need to do with this screen is you navigate between these little buttons with the D-pad until you get to the one with the letter or number that you need on it. When you've got to that one, press the X button. To navigate between the letters that you see here, press the X button again until you get to the letter or number you need. When you have done with that letter or number, simply press the R button to go to the next one. When you have finished your search, press the Start button. To carry it out. Make sure you have a, a connection made before you attempt to do this otherwise it will not work. When your background has come up with the websites press the triangle button to come off the little um, grey bar thing. Navigate using either the analog stick or the d-pad to the website that you want. When you it is highlighted in a blue highlight, press the X button. Okay, the PSP isn't usually used to handling this kind of, like, data, so it will take a while. Loading times can be up to ten minutes. I've had half an hour waits, but, yeah. So, just wait for it to load. And when it loads... Okay. You navigate around the page using the D-pad or analog stick. To move the page up and down, simply go to the edge and press the ed the, the D-pad that you want to go on. Okay? Like so. So get to the edge of the screen and press the down D-pad if you want to go down, edge of the screen, yeah, like that, okay? When you want to do a research, there are two ways. You can press the back button, which is L. You press L once, and it will take you back to the previous screen. Okay? R button takes you forward. Okay. Now, when you are back... Wait for it to load. See this little bar at the top saying Google Search? Press the X button over this, and it will come up with that screen and repeat the process I told you about earlier. Okay? and then press that. Or you can press the triangle button and do another search. When you want to fiddle around with the tools, go to the little toolbox icon and press the X button. This will take you to the settings menu. Press settings, view settings, and you can fiddle around with all of this stuff. When you want to come completely off the internet browser, press the O button and select yes. Select, yeah, select yes, and it will take you off. Another way to do this is go straight internet search. Press X and new search. You will be able to search from here, and it will come up exactly the same. Hope I've helped with your internet navigations. Uh, it's Fizzy Wizard. Peace out, YouTube.